Tiger King time. What's up with the Tiger King, huh? It's so crazy, man. It's crazy. All right, here we go. Uh, this is from a website. I think it's out of the UK called Heart. And I just pulled it to make life simple so I could get into the videos. It takes me a while to pull these videos and edit them for you guys. And hopefully Netflix will keep them up on face on YouTube and all the sites I'm putting it on because I'm, I'm not making money from here. From, I'm not selling this program. I'm just giving you guys this data to inspire you to look at your world in a different way while we're all locked in here and the world's crumbling around us. So here's just an overview if you've not followed it. It tells a story of this guy, Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin, the former owner of a private cat private zoo uh, and the later animal rights activists who tried to talk him down. So we're going to talk about Carol tonight. On Wednesday, we'll be going into Joe, who's an interesting cat. And I said that on purpose. I'm so fast. It just came right out of my head. Um, Joe Exotic is, Exotic is currently in prison, serving 22 years for allegedly plotting to kill Carol. And he's trying to get that. He's trying to get another uh, that overturned. So we'll see what happens. Uh, where's Carol Baskin now? She continues to run Big Cat Rescue Animal Sanctuary in Tampa, Florida, with her husband, Howard Baskin. She has said she regrets her cooperation with Netflix documentary, also refuting claims that she had anything to do with her former husband, Don Lewis's uh, mysterious disappearance in 1997, which we'll talk about tonight. Slamming the documentary in a statement last month, she said, there are not words for how disappointing it is, oh, where to go, how disappointing it is to see that the series not only not only does not do any of that, but has had the sole goal of being as salacious and sensational as possible to draw viewers. You damn right it is. At as part of that, it has a segment devoted to suggestion suggesting with lies and innuendos from people who are not credible that I had a role in my the disappearance of my husband Don. There's a one of the elements I talk about in the seven levels of reading and influencing human behavior is statement analysis, the hidden meaning in words. And this statement here is a suspicious statement. Instead of saying, so think about it. Uh, I'm the mother of three sons. I don't say I am not the mother of 16 daughters. We tell people who we are. We do not tell people who we are not. So I don't say, hey, I don't. Uh, I don't work at Home Depot. Uh, we tell people what we do, not what we don't. Nixon said what? I am not a crook. We tell people who we are, not who we are not. So the stronger statement for Carol to make here would have been what? Would have been what? Instead of this, as a part of that, the segment devoted to suggestion with lies and innuendos from people who are not credible that I had a role in the disappearance of my husband, Don. See, right here, the language, the, the power of statement analysis is the truth is often there. It is there if you just know what to look for. I had a role in the disappearance of my husband, Don, in 1997. Now, am I saying she killed him? No, I'm saying this is a weak denial, very weak denial. It would have been better had she written in, or said something along the lines of, despite what everyone is saying, I didn't kill my husband. I didn't. I don't have anything to do with my husband's disappearance. <clears throat> I don't. We can't take out the word I don't. We can't take out, take out a word in the middle. But we can take out all the words in the beginning or words at the end. So if we just look at this, hopefully my arrow is showing you. I had a role in the disappearance of my husband, Don, in 1997. Incredibly weak denial. Over 75% of criminals confess once they get arrested in jail when they say, for those of you who believe in my guilt, instead of saying my innocence, the power of language, there are hidden messages in there. The word my indicates ownership. So for those of you who believe in my guilt, you're owning guilt versus for those of you who don't believe in my innocence, right? So here the words matter. This is a weak denial. So we're right out of the gate with this weak denial, right? And I see some people guessing it would have been better. Yeah, Laurel, I did not kill my husband. Yes, we don't see that. 
As part of that, it has a segment devoted to suggestion with Liza and UN knows that I had a role in the disappearance of my husband, John. This is unbelievable. Right out of the gate, this, this statement is suspicious. Oh, these are my favorite memes of the week. So I thought I would show you some of my favorite memes. My computer is going a little wacky here. Uh, everyone. So everyone's saying 2020 is my year. COVID-19. Guess what, motherfucker? If you have not watched Tiger King, you've got to, especially, I say I'm a swearing Christian. If you're kind of like a swearing person, like I always say, I trust someone that says fuck because I feel like it's so taboo that you must be authentic. I don't know. My I, my mother would say she was a nurse for elderly homeless people in Boston. And before that, a nurse at Mount Auburn Hospital in Boston. And she would call me and she would say, Janine, dear. She didn't swear. Janine, dear, you would love the doctor I was working with today. The, the, the F-bombs were flying. The fucks were flying. She never swore. She never swore. So cute. You can hear my son laughing in there reading a book. So cute. Uh, so guess what, motherfucker? Already? I pulled your video so you could get the gist. But those of you who are not watching the Tiger King, here is our little friend, Joe Exotic. Guess what, motherfucker? 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 Tell me that doesn't bring me joy. Come on. Come on. That's going to bring you some joy. Gosh, I love you, Netflix. I love you. I want a Netflix show. So if you're a producer at Netflix, give me a show. All right. Let me take a sip of water as we dive in. <clears throat> All right. 2020. I love this visual. This is 2020. The building is coming down and the Tiger King is holding us up, right? As the building is crashing down, it's these beams that are holding us barely from crashing among the earth. Hysterical, hysterical. Hey, Laura, your mother said swearers aren't smart because they don't have the vocabulary for other words. I don't know if your mom's still alive, but if she is, <clears throat> you got to tell your mom she's wrong. There's a bunch of studies about having friends who swear. Hit Google uh, uh, and go into the power of swearing, the benefits, the, the health benefits of swearing. <laughs> My mother told me, hey, if this cancer kills me, I'm coming back as a swearing Christian. I'm coming back as a swearing Christian. I go, mom, you have breast cancer now. You can swear. She says, it's just not who I am. I called her a couple of weeks later. She's like, hey, what's going on, bitch? I thought my sister Kayleen answered. I'm like, Kayleen? She goes, no, it's mom, bitch. What's up? What's going on? I go, mom, what are you doing? She goes, oh, I'm trying out the swearing thing. How do I sound? I'm like, you're a natural. <laughs> All right, look at this one. This meme said, this is me trying to explain the Tiger King on Netflix to my friends who are not following the show, who have not started watching it. <laughs> it is. You can't explain it. You just got to dive in. You cannot explain it, man. Uh, this is my favorite. He's going crazy. What is your plan? Trump, release the tiger documentary. <laughs> I don't I don't slam our president. I don't think it's a good idea to slam a president. I, I've never slammed a sitting president uh, unless they're in debates. Then I'll talk about debates. And I got to tell you, this one's funny. That's funny. Come on, Mr. President, the countries go crazy. What's your plan? Oh, they said um, this is the what's that show? Um, Thrones. I don't watch it. What's it called? The something thrones. Someone write it here. I'm going to look on Facebook. Oh, look at all my likes and my hearts and my smiley faces. Thank you, everybody. King of thrones. What's it called? The thrones, whatever they said. This is um, tiger King is the, what's the movie, the doc, the TV series people watch thrones, something thrones king. of. Th I forget. Someone put it. I'm waiting. Game of Thrones. Yeah, so someone, one of the memes said Tiger King is uh, the equivalent. It's the white trash version of Game of Thrones. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Can I tell my kids this was Kid Rock? Oh, tell me you don't love his videos. Come on. Those music videos? Come on, Joe Exotic. Homegirl got her arm ripped off by a tiger. And Joe Exotic's first move was to throw on the EMS bomber. <laughs> the drip never takes a bad seat. Hashtag Tiger King. It kills me. 
It's so funny. Oh, I need this, man. This is why I'm going to stay healthy watching this documentary series. This man has three husbands, and I can't even get a text back. That's funny. That's funny. Funny. Two years of reasonable therapy to keep your hand. Nah, bro, just cut that off. I got to go to work. Oh, did you see that? If you're following this, you know, I mean, every single episode, like every five minutes, something crazier happens. Something crazier happens. This is, this is hysterical. When this went down, I'm like, are you kidding me? When that girl did this, she's like, ah, take the arm. I got things to do. I don't have time to do this healing bullshit. The real criminal, look at this one, it's whoever this is. The real criminal is whoever is cutting hair in Wynwood. <laughs> Not another true crime pod killing me. This is funny stuff. Look at this. Whoever is cutting hair, I love it. Anyone, this is ever anyone says, suggests a plot to ruin Carol Baskin's business or possibly physically hurt her. Joe Exotic, you son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Ha ha, the only way to get a tiger to eat someone is to cover them in sardine oil or something. Uh, yeah. I, I did not pull this clip tonight I because I have some clips of her talking. I'm starting at the face and the eyes, and then I'm going to work down her body. So when we're, in, we're back together Wednesday night at 10 o'clock, this coming Wednesday, I'll be back with a couple other people. I'm going to talk about uh, Carol Baskin. We'll move down her body a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit about Joe Exotic, and then we're going to go into Carol Baskin's husband. Ben's ex-wife and their adult daughter, you know, that family, when you have the older women sitting on the couch, I'm going to be analyzing them too. I don't want to hear that you're bored in quarantine. Go solve the disappearance of Carol Baskin's first husband if you need something to do. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% fed my husband to the tigers. I think this is a uh, a uh, loop over to Lizzo. All right, let's get the party started. I know we're so excited. All right, here we go. I'm going to give you a couple fun facts because I teased this uh, last uh, Friday night. I did a little tease Friday night. And this is what I want to talk to you about is this tiger roar, this tiger roar. Excuse me as I clear my throat. I know everyone's panicking. You're so happy you're away from me. I'm clearing my throat because I'm on four hours sleep. And it's 11 o'clock at night. All right. Uh, I want to talk to you briefly about a tiger roar. If you, do not, if you do not know this, the tiger roar can be as loud as 114 decimals, which is 25 times louder than a lawnmower. And it has something, the tiger has something called the infra, infrasound. It's their invisible weapon. It's this low frequently blast and you can feel it. You don't hear it. It can go through mountains. It can go through the jungle, the deep forest of the jungle. See, humans hear sound waves between 20 and 20,000 hertz. This is, this is where this, this roar comes in at 18 hertz. So let me back that up. We hear between 20 and 20,000. This, this roar comes in at 18 hertz. We don't hear it. We feel it. And we freeze. Animals and prey freeze and, and even trainers freeze. It, it stuns us. The United States military and military around the world know this. And they're trying to incorporate this, this low sound, this low frequently blast into some type of weapon to stun advancing troops millions of dollars trying to figure this out. It's really, it's unbelievable. The apostle in the Bible, the apostle Peter says, be on alert for the roaring lion who seeks out those he can, can, can devour. So let me say that again, whether you, whether you're a Christian or not, it doesn't matter. Maybe the Bible, you look, you look at the Bible as an interesting book of stories, right? Uh, so whatever, however you consider, I'm a swearing Christian. So I believe Jesus is the son of God. So I'm not here to preach. Apostle Peter says in the Bible, be on alert for the roaring lion 
who seeks out those he can devour. See, it's not what you see. It's not, I mean, it's not what you hear. It's, it's what you feel. It's, it's, it's not what you actually hear. So you've got to be careful of those people, right? They're saying all the right things, but you just have this vibe. You just get paralyzed in front of them. Just like um, if you heard this, you know, this lion roar or this tiger roar. Uh, what else I want to tell you? Oh, I want to tell you this briefly. And then we're going to go into the eye movements here of our dear friend, Carol, is uh, the JonBenet case. Do you remember the JonBenet case? She was murdered on Christmas Day in Colorado in her house. They found her, the father found her in the basement. And I, I won't go into that deep here. I think I've talked about this case in another Celebrity Lie Detector Live. If not, I'll have to talk about it in the future. The only reason I want to tell you that is I was on an airplane on Southwest and I was traveling with my son, Angus. He was about four months old and I didn't, ha I didn't wear a wedding ring. I still don't. It's uncomfortable for me. I'm fidgety. I'm on the plane by myself. The guy could sit anywhere. I pre-boarded. They allowed pregnant... Um, women with kids to, or people with kids to pre-board back in the day. They don't do that now. You have to board after A or something. Anyway, this guy could sit anywhere. Where does he sit? Right next to me. And I remember immediately, almost as if this tiger had let out that low frequently blast, right? His invisible weapon. This guy had that invisible weapon and I just felt immediately uncomfortable with him. And then what he did next was exactly what they talk about in the book. If you've not read Gavin DeBecker's book called The Gift of Fear, read that book. I'll be talking about it in Open Loop podcast, my new podcast that launches this coming week. Check it out, openlooppodcast.com. We already have the website up and running with some sneak peeks and some exercises that you can do to prepare. Every week, it's a podcast all about you. We rip out the headlines from the celebs and, and criminals, no politics, and we flip it on its head. I analyze it. And my co-host, Elise Labatt, who was with CNN for several decades and has traveled with seven secretaries of state to over 100 and something countries, um, she does you know, brass tacks. She gives us the data and tells us what's going on in, in the world and studies. And I analyze. So I'm doing the human behavior. So this guy, when he came on the plane and sat right next to myself and Angus, what happened next is right out of the book, The Gift of Fear by Gavin DeBecker. So I'll be talking about that in a future open loop. It was like this low frequency invisible weapon hit me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, oh, one last fun, fun tip about, uh, about lions and tigers. Uh, they have a low pitch and babies have a high pitch, baby humans. And they're both very similar. So the baby lion and tiger, their low pitch, their vocal cords have this loose gel-like folds, and so do baby humans. And both grab our attention. So whether it's that low pitch of the lion or the high pitch of a baby human, it's very similar in the vocal cords, and it's the purpose is to grab our attention, grab our attention. And that study comes from the National Center for Speech and Voice. Oh, by the way, tigers, highest death of humans more than any other large cat. And 300 people a year in one area of the world get killed. Bengal, Bengal, 300 people a year get killed by a tiger. So, you know, if you're going to keep tigers as your pets and you want a whole bunch of them or you want a, a little zoo in your backyard, a little baby tigers and exotic animals, animals, try doing it in a country other than Bengal because evidently they're killing people left and right in Bengal, 300 people a year. So do your illegal raising of your tigers in another country, like maybe the United States. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coughing for effect here. There's our friend, right? There's our good friend, Joe. Joe Exotic, he wrote with this sign. Carol Baskin, Federal Husband of the Tigers, changed my mind. This is on people. Uh, a Cardi, this lebs are weighing in here. Uh, Cardi B, they did they did Joe so dirty over and over again. She's pro Joe. About to start a GoFundMe page for Joe. He shall be he shall be free. This is Cardi B. Hysterical. All right. 
Shaq, Shaq got in a little bit of uh, heat recently about it. He's in the documentary, right? You guys saw it. So, you know, it's probably not a big deal, but people who haven't seen it really probably don't know. All right. Here's the deal. This says Shaq explains appearance at Joe's Exotic Tiger uh, Zoo. More tiger problems. Shaq O'Neal. We're, we were there and I dropped some donations for the tires, here's what Shaq said, for the tiger's foods and all that, O'Neill said. We take pictures with the tiger, we went back a couple times, then we go back another time and we found out that he's involved with all the stuff and then actually I stopped going but I had no idea all that stuff was going on. Now, I will say uh, if I was analyzing this statement, which I'm not going to, there's there's some indicators in this statement that would lead me to want to ask Shaq a couple questions. Leads me to believe that he's probably not telling us a couple things, but all human beings are like that. It's impossible to reveal every single thing about a story. If I ask you, how was your vacation? You're going to tell me either good parts, bad parts, but you can't tell me every little thing. You're not going to tell me what color comforter you had. But the word actually here is a hot spot for me and he I dropped some donations to the tiger and all that. We take pictures with the tiger. So he's changing tenses, but I'd have to get his baseline. Maybe he does that all the time. So we dropped his past tense. We take pictures with the tiger or current tense, ten, text, tense. Well, I could not get that out because I just said I didn't want to analyze it. And then what do I do? I go analyze it. That's the Gemini in me. I'm a twin. The Gemini, I'm not a twin, physically a twin. Like, you know, I'm a Gemini. They're the twins. We went back a couple times. <coughs> All right, then we go back another time. I love how I'm coughing. Oh, hold on. I had no idea all that stuff was going on. Actually, I stopped going. This is the one. We don't need the word actually. Actually is a hot spot for me. We'll talk about it actually another time. Do I put donations to these zoos to help these tigers out? I do it all the time, which is awesome. I love that he do, does that. Do I own tigers personally at my house? No, but I love tigers. I don't know. I'd want to ask some questions here. Very, very specific. Do I own tigers personally at my house? Maybe he owns them at his apartment. Maybe he owns them at a friend's house. Maybe he doesn't own them. Like he bought it for someone else as a present. I don't know. I, I, I don't think he has them. I'm not saying he does. I'm just saying, you know, anyone who's talking to you understand the truth is um, there could be more to a story. So pay attention. Do I own tigers personally at my house? It's very, very specific. This is how people, when they lie to us and they cheat, they get away with this, you know, or <clears throat> they had a gun and they got, I don't, I don't, I don't own six handguns. Well, yeah, because they were given to, I never bought six handguns, right? So they could, that would be truthful. Maybe they didn't buy it, but it doesn't mean they don't own it or have them in their house or in their apartment or in the backyard or in the shed. I don't know. So Jack, uh, I, I'm sure you don't have any tigers. I'm just saying your language is a little on the squishy side here, my friend. Do I put donations to these zoos to help these tigers out? I do it all the time. That's awesome. I love Shaq. He's awesome. Do I own tigers personally at my house? No, but I love tigers. Okay, good for you. Listen, people are going to make their own opinions. But again, I was just a visitor. O'Neill continued. I met this guy, not my friend. Don't know him. I met this guy. So we have a pronoun here. No pronoun here. He's not my friend. I don't know him. So he drops the pronoun here. Just, you know, I bet you maybe Shaq knows someone that owns one, or maybe he thought of buying one once, or maybe he bought one and returned it, or maybe he thought of buying it and last minute said, no, I don't want to do it. Or um, maybe uh, one of his best friends owns one, right? So he's not ratting out a friend. Um, there could be a million reasons why this language is, is just – suspicious. It's it's full of what in my world we call hot spots. If I were to talk to Shaq, I would just say, uh, do you know someone? You know, have you ever felt uncomfortable about this situation? I don't know. There's just some questions here. I would say, what is it you're not telling me? I met this guy, not my friend, don't know him, never had any business dealings with him. Again, no pronoun. Pronoun here, I was just a visitor. I met this guy. No pronoun, no pronoun, no pronoun. 
and I had no idea any of that stuff was going on. Okay, so pronoun again. So these ones would be the interesting, these three right here. I'd want to ask more questions.